Today, let's talk about the income consumption curve. We will observe how the change in income of a good can alter the consumption choices of the consumers. For that, first, let's assume that the consumer consumes two goods, food and clothing. Also, assume that the price of food is dollar one and the price of clothing to be dollar two. First, we will have a look at figure A. In the figure, as we can see, the quantity of clothing is measured on the vertical axis and the quantity of food on the horizontal axis. Initially, assume that the consumer's income is $10. The utility maximizing consumption choice is at A initially and at point A, the consumer buys 4 units of food and 3 units of clothing and the consumer is at indifference curve U1. I have already mentioned that the price of food is $1 and the choice of 4 units of food is also reflected in figure B. Figure B shows the relationship between the price of food and the quantity demanded of food which is nothing but the demand curve of food. Point E represents the point where 4 units of food is consumed and where the price of food is $1. This means that the consumer is at demand curve D1 when he is at point A consuming 4 units of food and 3 units of clothing along indifference curve U1. We have assumed that the consumer's income is $10 till now. So what happens if the consumer's income is increased to $20. Then the budget line shifts outward parallel to the original budget line because an increase in income allows the consumer to buy more of both food and clothing and hence attain the utility level associated with indifference curve U2. And the consumer reaches point B where he consumes 5 units of clothing and 10 units of food. In figure B, her consumption of food moves to point G because of increase in income to $20. The price of food remains fixed at $1 here as only the income of the consumer has changed. And the consumer is now at demand curve D2 where he consumes 10 units of food. The demand curve shifts from D1 to D2 because of increase in income of the consumer. Note that increase in any other factors other than the price of the good will result in the shift of the demand curve rather than movement along the curve. That is the reason why the demand curve has shifted from D1 to D2. If the consumer's income further increases to $30, he moves to point B in indifference curve U3 with the market basket containing 16 units of food and 7 units of clothing. This is represented by H in figure B and the consumer moves to the demand curve D3. Income consumption curve is a curve that traces the utility maximizing combinations of two goods as the consumer's income changes. Here, the income consumption curve traces out the utility maximizing combinations of food and clothing associated with every income level. The baskets that maximize the consumer satisfaction for various incomes such as point A, B and D in the figure A trace out the income consumption curve. Now let's move on to the income consumption curve of the inferior goods. Inferior goods are those goods whose demand decreases with an increase in the consumer's income. Suppose that the consumer purchases two goods, hamburger and steak. In case of inferior goods, the consumption falls when the income of the consumer rises. Here, hamburger is considered an inferior good and steak a superior good. Initially, the consumer is at budget line 10, 5, which means that with the consumer's income, he can purchase either 10 units of hamburger or 5 units of steak. But in the budget line 10-5, the consumer's optimal point of consumption is at point A 
in indifference curve u1 where he chose to purchase both the goods that is x units of steak and 5 units of hamburger now suppose that the consumer's income rises and then there will be a proportional shift in the budget line towards the right and the new budget line is 2010 which means that his new income gives the consumer an entitlement to purchase either 20 units of hamburger or 10 units of steak. So the optimal point of consumption at this new level of income is at point B and the consumer moves to a new indifference curve, indifference curve U2. Here he purchases Y units of steak and 10 units of hamburger. Here note that when the income of the consumer rises, the units of hamburger consumed is rising from 5 to 10 units and the units of steak consumed rises from x to y units. Here from the figure it can be observed that y units of steak is larger than x units of steak and both hamburger and steak are normal goods where the consumption of both the goods rises with respect to an increase in income of the consumer. Now let's suppose that the income of the consumer rises again and the consumer moves to the budget line 3015 where he is entitled to purchase either 30 units of hamburger or 15 units of steak and the consumer's optimal point of consumption is at point C in indifference curve U3 where he purchases Z units of steak and 9 units of hamburger. Here the consumer increases the purchase of steak from Y units to Z units as his income rises but he decreases his purchase of hamburgers from 10 units to 9 units in spite of an increase in income. Here hamburger though a normal good between A and B becomes an inferior good when the income consumption curve bends backward between B and C. So here the income consumption curve traces the utility maximizing combinations of hamburger and steak that is between points A, B and C as the consumer's income changes. I hope these concepts are clear. Thank you.